Yeah, I don't think I ever doubted myself, like, uh, performance-wise. But there were definitely times where I put a ceiling on myself. I expect my ceiling to be like a average starter, hopefully get around for a little bit. And I think it's a bad place to look at. I think it's, you start putting limits on yourself. It definitely affects you. Hendricks ready here to throw his 35th pitch of this inning. Ouch. And he walks Votto. John Gibbons to the mound, and that's going to be all for Liam Hendricks. He will not get through the second inning of this game. Todd Redmond, right hander, has been throwing in their bullpen. I think the first first couple of times I got sent down were, were hard because it was unexpected. I'd never been sent down before. But I had a couple of rough ones and I just thought I was untouchable. Like, okay, two bad ones, but I'll get back on track here. Turned out that wasn't the case. I uh, went down to AAA, did well in AAA, and they kept calling a couple of guys up ahead of me. I think that was a big wake up call for me, just being just more along the lines of like, okay, like I may not be the guy here I'm just gonna like I'm not I'm not that guy like I'm there's other guys there ahead of me they're trying to send me a message that I need to figure it out and yeah it's it's definitely a humbling experience for sure it was embarrassing I just I got lax of days you out there and I wasn't myself Me and Christy actually had thought about, like, if I don't get claimed and I clear, like, I'm going to be a minor league free agent. So let's let's explore our possibilities. Like, we had considered Korea, we had considered Japan, like, places like that. So, yeah, we had looked into it. I had reached out to a couple of Australian guys I'd played with before that had gone over there um, to the point where we had a team that had already made an offer and they were coming out to the Dominican to, like, just watch me pitch. Turns out I ended up getting uh, traded back to the Blue Jays, and once that happened, it was like, okay, look, if I'm, look, I'm not going to Korea unless I'm off the roster. Liam, around this time last year, you were with the Kansas City Royals and found out you weren't even going to be on the playoff roster. You were a September call-up. Flash forward a year. What a difference for you, huh? Uh, it's been insane. I mean, this is such a great team. They've given me the opportunity to come out of the pen, and uh, so far I've been doing pretty well out of it. I had a couple bumps here and there, but uh, I think I've, I've helped them out. And I think I was out of the game. So, you know, a lot of good things transpired tonight and contributions from guys in certain roles that they don't usually have to do that. Liam Hendricks came up big for us tonight. And he got it. So he threw a nasty slider. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, after what you've been through this season, getting designated for assignment a couple months ago now, starting the wild card game or opening the wild card game, what's the feeling in your mind? How exciting is this? I'm just happy to be a part of it. I'm just happy to be on the team, to be honest. Of the A's, how about 15 innings and one run allowed with an ERA of 0.60? Um, I think the biggest difference for me this year coming into this season was I went back to my original plan. Like when I was coming up before I started living in the States full time, I'd go back down to my club ball team and play catch and just hang out with the guys and I'd do that. Like so I'd get a full season of baseball in America. I'd go back home where it was summer in Australia and we the season would be starting in. So I'd play catch, I'd be around the game a little bit. So I went back to that and didn't really stop playing catch this year. So I think that was a big thing for me because not only was I able to keep everything going, but I didn't have to start from square one with my arm strength. So I think that helped a lot, but I think last year going down and being 
coming back up was was huge for me because it gave me the chance of like, look, I need to stop thinking about what everyone does well. I need to stop thinking about what they can beat me with. I need to start thinking of what I can beat them with and this is how I'm going to do it and this is and no matter what like I am better than you at this at bat and I'm going to show I'm going to prove it. So it was just a, it was a lot of mindset change for me. Mindset in I'm better than you kind of getting that little like arrogant streak back a, a little bit which is I mean as a pitcher it's it's you need it. There's certain guys that they'll make a perfect pitch, but if they don't have that conviction behind the pitch, it doesn't have the same effect. Like you could throw the perfect pitch in the perfect location, perfect count, everything like that, and if you're not do if you're not confident in it, it's going to get hit. It just it it's one of those little intricacies of the game that you can't really pick up on from unless you're looking at body language or seeing. You can sometimes you can almost see guys thinking. So if I think I'm terrible, so I need to stop thinking. So. I, I stopped thinking and started going out there and doing, and it's it's definitely changed my career path. So it turns out that Christy had uh, had surprised me by setting it all up and getting my parents out here for the uh, for the All Star game. So I mean, I was it caught me completely off guard because I wasn't expecting it. I mean, I had no idea they were coming, but. I mean, it just, it, it shows you how thoughtful Christy is, like the fact that she went out of her way to go and get my parents here for this game, and it's huge. I, 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 like, I love her for that, like the way she is, and bringing my parents out here. They, they weren't able to make my Major League debut, so this is uh, kind of the next best thing of being able to make my first All-Star game, and hopefully it's one of many, but at the end of the day, if this is the only one, like I wanted them to be here for it, and it's, it's huge, so I'm just glad I got to spend it with them. Yeah, so they, uh, they told me before the game that I, like, they called me, Alex Cora called me to the office and so they said I had the sixth inning. So I was preparing for the sixth. I think I was one of the first relievers out there. So it was, uh, it was cool being, like, it was weird knowing what inning you're throwing. So we ended up with uh, three strikeouts, one hit, one run, and no walks, which is always good for me, but I um, was able to keep the lead. I got a hold. Yeah, I've now, uh, now giving up as many homers in an All-Star game as I have this year so far, so the first half of the year, so. But I um, was able to come back and ended up facing Pete Alonso, the home run champion, so I was able to get him him swinging at the end on uh, 97, and uh, yeah, after the first track out of Chris Bryant, I got the ball back, looked into our dugout and was like, hey, uh, yeah, can I, I'm trying to mime it, but I'm like, I need this authenticated and you can put it in my locker. Like, I need this, like, first strike out an All-Star game, I'm keeping this ball. Like, no one's taking this away from me. Yeah, being named an All-Star was obviously a huge honor, but I don't think it's quite sunk in yet for me. Like, I don't consider myself an All-Star. Like, I felt, I felt like I'd, going into it, I felt like I was going to feel different about it. But I think just being told you're an All-Star at the start is the, one of the better feelings ever. But now it's happened, like I've got something to prove. Like I've got, I, I need to go out there now and be like, no, 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 I'm like, oh, this isn't just a flash in the pan for the first half of the season. I'm gonna continue this on and this is what I'm gonna do. Cause that's the only way you can succeed. You can't sit there and doubt yourself being like, oh, are these people right? Or listen to everyone else's opinions. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is what I'm thinking about myself. And I think that's a big thing for me. But yeah, the All-Star game was, it was a great experience. It's something that I'll remember forever, but there's certain things like I, I, I don't want, I don't want to remember this like as like the be all and end all. Like I want to, I want this to be the first of a couple. Like I want this to be the first of several. So I need to go out there and prove that I can go out there and do this again. And now it's at the end of the day, now it's just me working for the, to continue this for the rest of the year. And then as soon as the offseason hits, it's going to be making sure I continue my program and get back to this point next year.